Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. So let's say you have an application that you have installed in App Engine. If you want to secure that application, you know, you do not want anybody outside of your organization to access that. Or maybe you want to give that application access to a specific Google accounts. So you can secure your application in multiple ways, like one way if you look at it, you can use uh, authentication setup, maybe username password in the database, that's one way. And the second way is you can give access to your workers who are working in the office through VPN by securing uh, your application through VPN. That's at a network layer. Or you can use something called Google's Identity Aware Proxy. So IAP is going to take care of authentication and authorization of your application. And all you are worried about is just creating the application and uh, you know uploading the application to App Engine. It could be even Compute Engine, it could be App Engine, or it could be GKE. Uh, the flow, if you, if you look at it at a very high level, is going to be like when you hit the App Engine URL, it's going to go through IAP proxy after you set up IAP, and then it will ask for the consent screen, whether you know it could be a Google identity or it could be an external identity as well, like Facebook or something else. But it will ask for the user's consent, and then it authenticates the user and it authorizes the user, and then user will access the application. So now let's say that you have added a user to a Google project, right? A uh, user could be abc at gmail.com. Now, if you want to allow that user to access your application over HTTPS, you want to give two specific permissions that I'm going to list it on the screen here. You can see on the right hand of the screen. You have to give one of these permissions, and then your user can access uh, the application over HTTPS. So without further ado, let's dive into the demo. And for this demo, you're going to learn how to use App Engine standard version, create a consent screen, and protect your application using IAP. So now once you log into the console, select the project where you would do all this exercise. Selected the project. And if you do not have App Engine, you don't have to go into the App Engine section. Click on the Cloud Shell on the right side. If you do not know how to use App Engine and how to deploy your application in App Engine, I've created at least, I think, two or three videos on that. You can check back uh, on my channel list of uh, Google Cloud and then you can learn how to deploy your application in App Engine. But I'll go through a simple tutorial here, uh, really quick. I'll create a basic App Engine application. First things first, always make sure you have the right project set. All right, so now as you can see here, the project is set with the project where I want to try this out. It's good. Go back to your cloud shell, clear the screen. So I have my previous files here. Go to Python doc sample, go to app engine, standard underscore Python 37. So this is a, you know, this is a GitHub repo of uh, Google Cloud. It, again, you can check back on my previous videos how to do this, how to get this link and, you know, get all the sample files that are required for, for you to play around with the app engine. To ls and so here I'm going to do a basic hello world. To cd hello world to ls and you have your main.py where you're going to make changes in that. So I made a small change just returning what's up folks home page of cloud advocate so this is going to be a the output that you're going to see when i'm going to hit this app uh, through my app engine url this is all set and i have requirements.txt app.yml so so i have all the required files now i'm going to do gcloud app deploy Okay, it says that unable to deploy to application with status user disabled. Okay, that might be because I have disabled App Engine for this project before. If you get this error by any chance, go to enable in the settings on the right side and enable application. But I've done this because you know I have done a tutorial on App Engine before from this project and I disabled the App Engine. Now let's rerun this command. Okay, now click on yes, you get this. You can also copy the target URL. Either you can copy from here or you can um, get it from the App Engine page itself.
while it is trying to upload the files and install the application you can see on my console when i do refresh there is an older version that was running before and now it has uploaded the new version it has installed the application this you can see here is a version number and the traffic allocated is 100 percent perfect now if i click on or rather copy this url and paste it in the browser you can see that the application is running and it is displaying the one that we put in app.yml good perfect now anybody can access this url as you know you know if i give this url to you and if i put this link in my description you can very well use this so we're going to secure this right now how we want to secure this first we're going to create a consent screen to create a consent screen you can search by term called oauth and then click on api and services click on oauth consent screen here we cannot do internal because you know you have to be a g suite um, admin or if you have to be in an organization like if your company is using g suite so we cannot use that we're going to use external which is which is going to be available for any user who has google account create and here application name i'm going to give it as a cloud advocate upload i would upload this one sample uh, logo and the support email this is going to this is going to take the default admin email now if you want to change this you can change but we can keep it as default and you can either put the app engine url here or just leave it as default and click on save now we have the consent screen created so let's go to entity aware proxy here it's currently disabled click on enable api go to identity aware proxy and here we are going to enable this by clicking on this turn on perfect now what we're going to do is we can try hitting the url now and you will see that it is asking for a user to log in and this is perfect because you know the user not have the right permission that's why it's saying you don't have access at least so we are done with the first part which is we have put a proxy iap proxy in front of our application so that any anonymous user cannot access my web page so for this demo i'm gonna simulate a simple scenario for example let's say we have a group of users you know google group of users if if you have many users then you can create a google group and you can add a google group and you can assign a permission in iam but here since i do not have a google group i'm gonna use my personal email address and add it in the iam section as a google user go to the iam and admin and you are going to add a user here so select a role for the role search for iap and iap web app user is a permission save now go back to iap proxy page and select here checkbox on the checkbox and make sure that the user is existing here iap web app user and you can see that you know the user is assigned for this app now if i copy this url and i go to my cognito search here i'm gonna give my personal email address here and password as you can see here after it authenticated 
it authorized basically my google account user to access the web application because the user has permission called iap secured web app user it authorized the user to access my application so this tutorial is a small tutorial and this is going to help you to understand how to use iap if you want to take a lockdown challenge i would ask you to create iap proxy with a gk based application or even having an application inside a compute engine with that thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions leave it in the comment section give it a thumbs up if you like this video and do subscribe to my channel